Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be part two of my 2003 and 2004 empties video. Now I go through skincare like nothing. So this video is going to have a lot of skincare products and some uh, makeup uh, empties as well. I will be going through each empty and give you a, a short review of each product and I will let you know if I would repurchase them or if I would refrain from repurchasing them. By the way, I have a series of videos where I talk about my favorite skincare products that really worked for my skin, my sensitive, dry, and acne prone skin. So if you wanna see those videos, I will also link them in the description box. Now, this video is gonna be a, a lengthy one. So without further ado, let's get into this. The first product I'm gonna talk about is La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Immune 40 uh, SPF 50. The key benefits of this product are that this is for sensitive skin. This is anti-eye stinging, can be, can be applied uh, around the eyes, ultra resistant, very water resistant, sweat and sand resistant, non-sticky, non-greasy, invisible finish, does not leave white marks, and hypoallergenic. Now I was pretty happy with this product because it uh, like it says, it is suitable for sensitive skin, which I have, and it really uh, it does not leave a white cast, which I hate, because it makes my face really white and like ghost-like, and I hate that feeling. And it's not sticky, it's very easy to apply, it's very liquidy. I mean, I can't show you now, because it's uh, totally empty. But I would definitely repurchase this product. This is a great sunscreen option for those of you that are uh, sensitive, acne prone skin. The second product I'm gonna talk about is actually a face mask. This is from Kiehl's. This is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. This is a clay mask that visibly minimizes pores and blackheads instantly, leaving skin refined and smooth. This is a pore minimizing face mask formulated with fairly traded Amazonian white clay and aloe barbodensis. Uh, Kiehl's detoxifying and purifying clay mask helps reduce excess oil and minimize the look of pores to leave skin visibly more refined. Now this was a bit drying for my dry, already dry, uh, sensitive skin. But if I use this, and then after that, if I really hydrated my skin with a uh, with a, a face oil or something very hydrating, this actually works pretty well. So I would definitely repurchase this product. I think it lives up to its claims. Now another product that I went through is from Wishy. This is the. Um, Wishy Mineral 89 Hy Hy Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Serum. Now, after watching a lot of uh, skincare videos, I actually decided that I'm not gonna be purchasing any more hyaluronic acid, uh, like pure hy hyaluronic acid. Instead, I'm gonna be using hydrating uh, serums, like the Bioma one, or like the um, like the Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate Plus uh, Dream Oil. I decided to uh, refrain from purchasing only high, uh, products that have only hyaluronic acid. Instead, I'm going to be using other products that are hydrating oils or hydrating serums. But this was a good purchase. Now, this is a minimalist 11 ingredient formulation combining natural origin hyaluronic acid and Wishy's highest concentration of Wishy volcanic mi mineralizing water, rich in 15 es essential minerals. And uh, mineral 89 is hypoallergenic, suitable for even sensitive skin. This is a lightweight gel hydrating serum and is proven to instantly plump the skin with moisture while providing effective long-lasting hydration for up to 24 hours for hydrated, healthy glow. Now, I'm not sure if I agree with... Now, my skin definitely felt really good using this product, but I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a 24-hour product. I think... It just feels good right after you apply the product and then the effects are not that long lasting to be honest. But since watching all those uh, skincare videos from dermatologists on YouTube, 
uh, I'm not going to be purchasing a hyaluronic acid product anymore so I won't be repurchasing this although it was a good product to use. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. Now this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula with 10% pure niacinamide and 1% zinc PCA. Niacinamide, which is vitamin B3, reduces the appearance of skin blemishes and congestion. A high 10% concentration of this vitamin is supported in the formula by zinc PCA to balance visible aspects of sebum activity. This product is vegan, cruelty free and formulated without alcohol, silicone, nuts, gluten and uh, fragrance. Now I feel like I definitely benefited from this product. It definitely made my skin a little bit more brighter, a little bit more plump. So I would definitely repurchase this product from uh, The Ordinary. I think that it is affordable and it is worth your money. And niacinamide is one of the great ingredients that you can use for many different uh, uh, purposes. Next is Dr. Jar Sisa Pear Tiger Grass Repair Serum. Now I, I actually did a dedicated video of this uh, product so if you want to see that like I said I will link that in the description box or up above. This is a patent face serum with soothing Sisa complex and Elantoin to quickly soothe the skin barrier and reduce redness for healthier looking skin. And it does what it exactly says. It uh, helps uh, soothe the skin and it gets rid of the redness on your skin. Um, after you have acne scars, it's called uh, something, it's not hyperpigmentation, it's called post inflammatory erythema, which I talked about in uh, when I was reviewing this, vid uh, this product in, in that video. So, um, so I'm not gonna go into much detail with this product. But th this does exactly what it says and I already have like two backups of, th of this product so I would definitely repurchase this product. The next product I'm going to talk about is the La Roche-Posay Effectlar Serum Ultra Concentrate. Now this is an ultra concentrated serum that targets breakouts and reduces the appearance of blemishes and imperfections. This is clinically proven to visibly reduce imperfections, fine lines, wrinkles, and this is for oily blemish prone skin, also suitable for acne prone skin. The key ingredients are salicylic acid, LHA, glycolic acid, and niacinamide. Now this is one of the products that I reviewed in depth in one of my videos that really worked for me and I already have two backup, backups of this product. My dermatologist actually uh, uh, prescribed this to me, um, well this is not a prescription uh, product but uh, she told me to get this product right after I stopped using Accutane and I think that this is a great purchase and it's affordable so I would definitely re repurchase this product. Next is Ren uh, Radiance Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. This is a lightweight gel that is formulated with vitamin C and magnesium to smooth, hydrate, brighten and, and energize the look of skin. I'm not sure how much my uh, skin benefited from this product. It was very hard to use because it took a long time for it to absorb. It was really slippery and hard to use and uh, hard to absorb. It was hard for my skin to absorb this product. So. This is kind of uncomfortable to use and I'm not sure if I saw any drastic changes on my skin after using this product. So this is, not, this is a non uh, repurchase product. I have another REN product here. This is the REN Glycolic Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. This is a radiance recharge for dull and tired looking skin. This potent gel mask will help exfoliate away dirt and impurities, helping to reduce the appearance of fine lines and refine skin texture to reveal a renewed and more energized complexion. Formulated with fruit-based blend of chemical exfoliants, this brightens boosting mask is powered by gentle yet effective 
uh, glycolic acid, a, which is an AHA, from uh, pineapple extract and papine enzyme that helps remove dead cell built, leaving skin soft and smooth with a healthy looking glow. I think this lived up to all of this, these claims. I, I, every time I use this product, it made my skin uh, very uh, plump and glowy. So this is definitely a repurchase. Moving on to the next product, which is from Fresh Beauty. This is the Roast Instant Hydration, uh, Hydration Mist. This is an instantly hydrating face mist that soothes, help to reduce the look of pores, softens all day for sub subtle dewy skin uh, pre or post makeup. Um, I'm not sure how pore minimizing this product wa was to be honest, but it definitely hydrated my skin. Um, one of the main ingredients, one of the first ingredients on the ingredients list of this product is actually glycerin, which is uh, glycerin is much better than hyaluronic acid for your skin to in terms of hydration so this has uh, glycerin and it I feel like it definitely hydrated my skin and uh, it lasted pretty much all day too so I would definitely repurchase this product um, it's just you go through a, it's just a small you don't get a lot for your buck so it's just I wish that it was a little bit bigger and a little bit more affordable um, but this is definitely a repurchase on my part. Next is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Now this is a very popular product. This serum works night and day to help optimize skin's natural rhythm of repair and protection. At night with our exclusive 1 in 60 million night peptide, it helps support skin's visible renewal and firming. Hyaluronic acid helps locks in moisture. By day, this serum with 8-hour antioxidant production helps defend skin against visible effects of free radical damage from environmental sources like pollution. And this is ideal for uh, multiple signs of aging, visible age prevention with antioxidant protection, loss of firmness, tone, lines, wrinkles, uneven, uneven skin tone, dullness, dehydration, uh, and it includes hyaluronic acid. Now this serum honestly has a lot of claims to it and I don't think it lives up to the hype. I don't think I will be repurchasing this product. I mean it was a nice plumping and uh, a, a hydrating serum, but I didn't see any drastic uh, changes on my skin when I use this product. So I don't think it lives up to all of these claims that it has. So I don't think um, I'm gonna be repurchasing this product, but it was a nice serum. It was, it felt hydrating and a, a little plumping. And um, that's, uh, that's all I got out of, that's all I have to say about this product. It was a good product. Another skincare product I have here is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration uh, uh, Facial Toner. It looks a little gross, but this is the packaging. It's got rose in it, so it looks a little gross. This is a daily non-stripping toner with real ro rose petals and hyaluronic acid that minimizes the look of pores while increasing skin hydration. This best-selling alcohol-free toner has tripled the rose power thanks to toning rose fruit extract, strengthen strengthening uh, demask rose extract and nourishing rose oil infused with real rose petals. The deeply hydrating formula clears skin of impurities leaving it soft and refined i actually love uh, a lot of fresh uh, products so this was definitely a very high i don't know about pore minimizing but this was definitely a nice hydrating toner i'm just uh i have no place uh, in my uh, routine for toners at the moment because i'm i have a skincare uh, i have a skincare routine already uh, in place and set uh, and I'm gonna stick to it so 
Um, if I happen to purchase a toner in the future, this would probably be uh, one of them. Next is Dr. Jart Sissa Pear Tiger Grass Repair Cream. Now, this silky smooth texture cream with a hint of refreshing lavender scent soothes, calms, and moisturizes the look of irritated skin. Designed to help repair the look of skin experiencing irritation, redness, and uh, tightness caused by environmental stressors, this cream rapidly boosts skin's moisture barrier. It helps the appearance of redness and the skin surges with soothing moisture. Now, I really like this Sissa Pear uh, line, this green line from Dr. Jart, so I already have a backup of this product. I am not sure how moisturizing it is, but I definitely feel that it helps with my post-inflammatory erythema, which is the acne, uh, the redness that you get af right after you have acne, like the scars that you, those red marks that you get after you have acne. So I feel like because it helps with that a lot, I would definitely repurchase this and I already have a backup of this product. So I really like um, this uh, green line from Dr. Jart. Uh, we got one more uh, product from Fresh. This is Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Juice Antioxidant Face Serum. This is a multivitamin skin nutrition serum that boosts skin with essential vitamin C, E, and B5 minerals, antioxidants, and hydration for a bright and healthy look. This delivers uh, multivitamin skin nutrition and antioxidant protect protection, brightens, smooths, reduces signs of tiredness, and hydrates, absorbs quickly for healthy looking skin. I think I definitely benefited from this face serum. It definitely made my skin a little bit brighter, a little bit more alive and plump. And uh, I could see the difference uh, using this product. But because you get so little product for your buck, I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing this because there's a lot of vitamin C options out there that are drugstore or high-end that are cheaper than this, pro this, this little jar. So, um, I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this product, even though it worked really well. Um, I don't think I'm just going to be repurchasing this. Next up is another ordinary product. This is the Alpha Albutrin uh, 2% plus HA. This serum reduces the looks of spots and hyperpigmentation. It's used at a high 2 concentration versus a standard concentration of 1% and uh, supported with a next generation form of hyaluronic acid for enhanced delivery. Alpha Arbitrin is much stronger in effect than Arbitrin or Beta Arbitrin. I don't think I saw any difference in my skin when I was using this product. Uh, maybe because it's not time for me to use a product like this because I'm still dealing with, again, post-inflammatory erythema instead of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and this is a product for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation so I might try this product in the future again but so far you know I've finished the whole bottle and I've seen um, no changes on my skin so I might try another uh, Alpha Arbitrin serum in the future. I know Alpha Arbitrin is a very uh, nice ingredient for hyperpigmentation. Uh, hyper so um, I might try this in the future again, but for now, it, this, this just didn't impress me. The last skincare product I have is actually from the Inky List. This is the Caffeine Eye Cream. The label is a little bit rubbed off. But this is the this caffeine eye serum is rich in anti-inflammatory antioxidant derived from caffeine. It helps reduce um, puffiness, dark circles, and prevent skin damage from free radicals, which can make dark circles more pronounced. Now, this serum targets dark circles, uh, reduce the appearance of dark circles, reduce puffiness, reduce the appearance of fi uh, fine lines. Now I'm sad to say that this cream, this eye cream did absolutely nothing for me. I mean, it may have helped with the puffiness a little bit, but it definitely does not help with dark circles. 
and it was not really hydrating at all um, so it was just one of those products that I just use it to just use it up and I won't be repurchasing this product I have their eye cream uh, retinol eye cream and I like that better um, I think that helps uh, a little bit more with dark circles and puffiness but this eye cream um, was just an ordinary um, eye cream and it was just um, okay so I won't be repurchasing this we're almost at the end of this video I'm gonna end this video talking about some of my makeup empties and the first one is the Fenty cheek out freestyle cream bronzer this looks gross it's got like a little mold in it but I totally use this up this is a, a light air cream bronzer that easily melts into the skin giving you an instant buildable kiss of sun in a shade for every skin tone which I would definitely agree with all those claims uh, the shade the shade I had was macchiato and at some point I was really obsessed with this product I was using this constantly and I hit pan on it pretty quickly actually unfortunately there's a lot of cream bronzers out there and in my collection so uh, even though this was a very good purchase on my part I mean I might repurchase this again in the future but for now uh, I'm just gonna be refrained from repurchasing this even though it was a great product and I would definitely recommend it The next makeup product I'm gonna talk about is the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara This is in the shade 80 Ecortes, Ecorsis, I'm not sure how to pronounce it But this is a brown mascara and I totally use this up This is a mascara that offers instant volume for the very first stroke far longer plumper and thicker lashes lashes are coated in deep color giving eyes a wide open look I feel like this mascara didn't really live up to its claims it's not very volumizing or lengthening at all I love the shade of this and but it was just an okay product it didn't really give me a lot of volume or length so um, even though I love the color and I love having a luxury product like this I don't think this is a product that I would I'm gonna be repurchasing next I have here the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, mini stronghold clear brow gel now this is a clear brow gel that is lightweight clear gel that sets color and holds brow hair in place for a clean polished look that lasts now I definitely feel like this really hold my brows up but a big downside to this product was um, after using it after a while my, my uh, eyebrows got so hard and I could definitely feel that I had makeup on in my on my eyebrows and it was kind of uncomfortable um, after the first uh, couple of use so I uh, kind of wasted it I didn't use it and it gone it's, it's gone bad so this is not a product that I'm gonna be repurchasing unfortunately and I don't I'd rather use uh, tinted brow gels anyway I think they're more for me than a uh, clear brow gel I have very sparse brows and uh, with a tinted brow gel I'm just I just use it and I'm out the door you know I don't um, spend a lot of time with my brows because they're already so sparse so uh, when I fill them in too much I feel like they look fake and uh, like I said I don't need another clear brow gel in my collection um, I just rather use a tinted brow gel than a clear brow gel so I'm not going to be repurchasing this next is uh, benefit roller lash lifting and curling mascara this is a mini one this is supposed to grab separate lift and curl while instant curve setting formula holds for 12 hours it contains provitamin b5 and sarin ingredients known for their lash conditioning benefits i got the mini version uh, uh, through one of my sephora orders as a gift and to be honest with you i never reach for this product to actually give you a full on review on this product but I when I the the first few times I used it um, I, I thought it was just an average uh, mascara I didn't see any uh, uh, volumizing or lifting it dried out really quickly I don't know if they sent me a, a, a 
bad patch, I don't know, but um, it, it dried out pretty quickly. So I wasn't able to um, use this more than a few times. And the, those few times I used it, I didn't see any drastic uh, thing on my eyelashes. So I wouldn't be repurchasing the full size of this product. The next makeup product I'm going to talk about is from Too Faced. This is the Born, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This fully loaded pigments provide maximum coverage with an undetectable finish for a look so flawless. I don't think anything about this product was undetectable. First of all, um, I mean, it, this was my bad, but, and uh, funny thing is I got this in the store, so I should have been able to uh, get my uh, true shade, but I just got the, I just got a very light shade. So this is very light for my skin tone. And like I said, nothing about this product is undetectable. It's very full coverage. It's very detectable under your eyes and it does crease if you use a lot of it. But to be fair, I was never, never able to use this product, like really test this out because of its light, very light shade. But the first few times I used it, I find it that it's very full coverage and it does look uh, makeup like it doesn't absorb uh, into your skin. It kind of uh, sits up on your skin instead of absorbing. So I wouldn't repurchase this product. I'm more, these days I'm just more leaning towards uh, more natural looking and lighter uh, concealers and foundations. So I'm not gonna be repurchasing this. Finally, the last product is from MAC. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is a long wearing blendable eye primer and or cream shadow that can be worn alone or with other products. Now, I'm not a very big primer person and I uh, really didn't use this product a lot, but the uh, thing is it, it's gone bad pretty quickly too, like it dried up completely and I was not able to use it anymore. So I don't think I got a lot of use out of this product. But then again, to be fair, like I'm not a very uh, big on on eye primers because I don't um, use eyeshadow a lot on my everyday life. So I'm not really a big primer person. I just usually use my concealer uh, and then set it with a powder and then apply my eyeshadow if I'm gonna use eyeshadow. So I wasn't able to take advantage, a lot of advantage of this product. I'm sure it's a nice product, but I'm not gonna be repurchasing this. All right guys, we're finally at the end of this video. I love doing, doing these kinds of videos where I can talk about the products that I used up and give you uh, speed reviews about what I think about each product and how it worked out for me. I feel like that's also useful for you guys uh, if you're considering purchasing any of these products. So we've gone through quite a lot of products today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also remember that I'm doing a, a series of videos where I talk about my favorite skincare products and I review them in depth and talk about the ingredients. So if you're interested in watching those kinds of videos, consider subscribing. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.